Hey guys, um, welcome back to another demo here in Maya. Um, in this demo, I'm going to go over some of the very basics of rendering in using the Arnold renderer for Maya. Um, so I have a very basic scene set up over here with a floor, which is just a plane, a cone, and a cube. The cube has um, a gravity field applied to it and the floor is an active rigid body for those of you who are interested in how to sort of have that animation um and i can always make another tutorial for that um so i'm gonna go over how to do a single image and how to do uh multiple images um and the first thing that you always want to do whenever you have your materials applied is to look at your render view so when you hit play, you're going to see that right now nothing is rendering and you can see the dimensions and whether it's rendered or not, but the image is like super dark. That's because we do not have a light setup. So in order to change that, I'm just going to add a simple light here and go through Arnold. You want to use Arnold lights if you're using the Arnold renderer. So, um, go you can go ahead and create a sky dome light just to check the materials and if you hit play now you'll see what that looks like um another thing that i'm going to mention over here is um the reason that i click on this stop button here is that if i'm making any changes right now um you'll see that that doesn't affect my render However, if I have the play button and I make any changes, I can see that effect and my frame actively. The reason you also want to check what your render looks like before it's complete is so that you make sure that it is framed right. So that's one thing. You can also always save your renders by um, so you can save your renders by going to store snapshot and what that does is it, it's a good way of comparing how the lights and everything look um, anyway um, this if you have this active and you're making slight changes in your environment with your materials and everything it takes up a lot of memory um, or you know a lot of your processing so I often stop this or sometimes like depends on the scene. Um, anyway, so whenever you have, so once you have your scene rendered out, you're going to get a um, timestamp over here. You, you have the dimensions of what the image size is here as well. And you'll see in a moment once um, all of this is rendered out you can see like some areas are grainier than the others that's because it's rendering out um, and once that's complete there will be a timestamp that'll tell you how long each frame takes and that's useful for whenever you're doing animations um, and there's a couple of other settings here as well um, right now I haven't added any layers but the beauty layer is basically everything um, reflections, which is like the specular, your, um, you know, um, specular, your materials, like just like their alpha, you can add the alpha. Also, you can also see the alpha by clicking on that button. You can change the background color if you want. The reason that we don't see the background color is right now is because we have a sky dome light. Um, and that can change if I go ahead and delete the light and I go ahead and, and add another light here, an area light instead. And I'm going to hit play so that I can see the changes um, live. And as you can see, um, I don't see anything in my view because I need to um, adjust the exposure and the brightness of the light. So 
so right now this is pointing towards the geometry that I have in my scene and if I go to my attribute editor with the light selected and I increase the intensity you can see that there's a little bit of something going on I can increase this by a lot if I want to you know it really depends on my scene I can add adjust the exposure to this is probably going to be too much and then I can adjust it. However, I have another demo on which I talk about lighting. However, um, you can see here that our background is black. You can change that if you want. So if I were to do this, it'll change the background color. And that is useful whenever um, you have certain materials and the light is like, say, if I have this light stretched out a little more you know, um, and then I wanted to choose a specific color that goes with it, um, and um, I can always like zoom in over here too. It just depends on how I have everything framed and what I want, and then instead of having a color, I can have an image too. Um, once you have everything set up though, what you want and you can store this just to compare the two as well so if i go here and um, store snapshot i'll be able to see both the snapshots and then when i want to go back to what my render looks like i'm just going to click on this and then if i pan it's going to update anyway that's some of the stuff that you can look in your render view the other thing that i'm going to talk about is going to be in the next section and that's um, in your is that's your render settings so um, just to cut this tutorial short in this tutorial um, I just covered how to look at your render view and how to frame whatever graphic you're trying to or whatever uh, mesh you're trying to render out thanks for watch uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video